New York local. It's love to see it. So here we go. I got Gooba playing Toon Link. And I got Dill. Of course, Rob, Rob, uh, doing the Rob. Let's see. So I know Goober uh, earlier in bracket did, of course, go with Kirby. Um, I guess Caster Man and was, it was kind of cooking. It was kind of cooking with the Kirby. Loved it. Um, but I know this is definitely, absolutely Goober's main. That's why I know, that's why I know him for, for uh, the, the, the Young Link. So, two normal Young Links over here in the New York area. Uh, one being Spoopy, the other being Goober 707. And already you're seeing kind of why, uh, Goober's really good as a Young Link. Using that, uh, that, those Young Link aerials, um, Emperor Thales to keep Dill off in the stage where y y Toon Link was very comfortable. But, Dill is back on stage, and not anymore. We're back up to a back throw. So, uh, waiting out the entirety of that side B is so smart, just because you can so... There's so many things that Dill can do off of that, or into that, that can result in someone like Toon Link's stock. So, Laser not taking it quite yet. There's that forward, da that, that, that forward dash. That dash attack uh, into up air. Oh, nice. Nice match out of the grab. Mmm, Dill was a little bit too early on that down air to get the hero spin, the uppy. Um, but now we have an even game once more. Just pretty, pretty much a battle of projectiles uh, for the most part. Really having to guess, guesstimate what is what Dill's going to do with that gyro. And of course, what you have to do against Link's boomerang, bomb, and fire arrow. And to an extent, uh, the grappler. Nice use of hero spin uh, recovery. That was an excellent parry as well. Okay. Here comes Rob with the falling there. Trying to get forward air, and we are in fact getting that. We're charging up Gyro right in the center stage. It will stay, and hopefully, Dill can get a conversion off of that. No, but we're gra grabbing Gyro now is in favor of Goober, which now has an extra project that you gotta deal with. Yeah, Boomerang does stuff out that gyro. And back throw into gyro into laser. And I'm seeing it down here. No, just a little bit, once again too early for the to kind of have the hero spin recovery. But we're taking we're once again he keeping Goober off on the stage where he's not comfortable into that up smash. Incredible uh, use of movement from Dill. And the high throw of the gyro. Okay. Once again, missing the, the down air and missing this time the up smash, but now nice, humongously great mash uh, for Goober. Nice jab lock into down, into down air. Okay. What we got next? We got... Tune back on stage. Into forward air. Into the pogo stick. Okay. This is exactly the, the, the kind of play that Tune Link wants, but you are in fact dead. Yep. Up throw, taking it. I love calling Link's sword to a pogo stick. It just stays out for so long. I hate it. Alright, mostly just ledge play right now. There's that pogo stick once more. No gyro. The last hit of Hero has been knocking Dill to the other side of the stage, allowing Goober to come back on stage as safely as he can. And now we have a reversal of, of positioning. Where Goober is trying to contest Rob on the ledge and also in the air. Nice, okay. Yeah, pretty much on an even game right now. I'm loving the action, the, the plans, the adaptation from both players at the moment. And oh, could have died to the back air, but stuff it out with I want to say it was a uh, forward air, so. That's triple down tilt into that dash back. Uh, Lily, dash back. F smash. Nice clean play from Dill. Uh, Goober wiping his hands of the sins he committed. Alright, choosing bans. We are banning FD and TNC for Goober, and we're going over right straight to Kalos. Um, lots of space for Toon Link to really take advantage of for, those, for the for the bridge that was in question. Bomb, boomerang, and of course fire arrow. Repping, repping the the purple Toon Link and Rob coming in on Kalos. Look at this. Bop, you're dead. All right, here we go. 
again, Kalos, a uh, very long stage, and you have two platforms at your, at your disposal on the very edges, so you have a lot of inner space to really work with, and this is what Toon Link really does enjoy using. Uh, I've seen Swoopy's Camper Stage stage, and now I've seen Goober Camper Stage stage multiple times. Very good stage for Young Link in general, but also Rob does have a few tricks up his sleeve on this stage as well, especially because the use of the pillar platform, the pillar stage is super good, uh, just to really count on those down airs. And the last hit of Oh my god, the last hit of side B of Arm Rotor taking Goober's stock for, like a candy from a baby. That's incredible. That's what I'm talking about. That's the big thing about, uh, about Kalos. Bomb in hand, throwing it right down, and we are avoiding a lot of projectiles from Toon Link. Can really wait out. We can so wait out so long with the amount of gas that Rob does have his recovery. Super good for it, though. Just to you know, slow, slow down the pace, the pace of the game a little bit. Jump in up air, and there's that grab into back throw. Not taking it on this stage yet. We have really big uh, side blast zones uh, space. Air just stuff out. Deal off the ledge. Waiting for Dill to do some kind of maybe roll in, maybe come in with a nair. Yep, that's what I was talking about. But we're using a platform to our advantage in order to gain a bit higher of a uh, aerial space, and that shield is getting real low. Wow. Okay, Bath taking it. Oh, that's huge damage for uh, for Goober. Yeah, nice station in hero spin uh, to catch Dill. The biggest thing you need to do right now is avoid that gyro that is going to allow Dill to grab you in the while you're hit stunned. And there's another side B off into that blast zone. So easy for Rob to carry you into uh, into that blast zone. It's so evil, um, especially with the likes of Arm Rotor at his disposal. So. There you go. Beautiful bomb conversion from bomb into up air, taking that stock right at the top. And now Dill is not wanting to play games. Rob coming up from the back from the Angel platform with invincibility is so good. You can drop down gyro, do forward air, you can do nair, you just miss out the back air, but that platform should be really good for, for Dill, but unfortunately she's not able to do anything with it uh, past the with back air. Doing a lot of rolling, we're doing a lot of really panicky options. We really want to do this game out for ourselves. So Goober is at 60%. We don't want to go to game three, and I think Dill is really trying to be more patient with her approaches um, in this match. That's because we're missing out on that gyro, and we're going right into the hero spin. There's double, double, triple, down air. Oh, missed it, unfortunately. It do be so. Oh, we gotta be really careful being in the air for like that, because uh, Goober is in fact going to want to contest that with up air, which we've seen take off the top multiple times now. Is it getting? No, it's not taking it quite yet. Goober's just a lot faster than Rob is, trying to do another up tilt. Are you serious? That touched like the tozy, the, the wheel of Rob. I'm shocked that connected. Yeah, so here's Toon Link. Come back on stage. We're jumping, I believe. Yep. And then right into up air. Barely touched my man's forehead. Rob had no. Oh my goodness. Rob. No, okay, then she's like, what the? What is this? That's incredible. Incredible play. Yeah, I gotta see this myself real fast. That's so funny. It didn't, it barely touched Rob, be for real. Rob's, I'm looking at it, I'm just like, Rob's head wasn't even. Wow. Wow. Pogo stick. Y'all don't see it, but pogo stick antics, that's crazy. 
instead, we are going right on to Battlefield. Regular Battlefield, tri plat stage, very easy. Uh, easy stage for a lot of characters to really showcase what they can do. And I think Rob is one of those. Has, a, has an extra platform for really good conversions off of up air into juggle converge into juggle combos and things like that. We, of course, we have Toon Link who can so abuse these platforms with projectiles. Um, covering distance with bomb, covering up airs. Um, on that platform, lots of really good options that he has in, he has in his disposal, but Dill is going to be taking this lead with a... almost running with it. Excellent parry game from Dill, avoiding all you that was so important in this matchup. Yeah, I think Dill was recognizing the pattern that Toon Link was kind of going, and uh, Goober just continued to stay stationary, and then he would jump after he finished all the projectiles, and I think Dill was waiting for the opportunity for him to be very stationary and on the ground. So we can probably get the down air. No, getting hit by the hero spin out of the down air uh, startup. Is Gyro always just high of stage, going for another down air? No. Continuing to just mistime it. And there's that double up there. Oh, okay. Dill had thrown out Gyro, so it was stuffing out the, the arrows, and Goober couldn't do anything after the bomb uh, visual explosion. Uh, it continues to, to fade back, and missing opportunities to really punish Goober, and Goober continues to take those opportunities into his own hands and take these stocks. The up smash not connecting, unfortunately, with Toon Link's small size, that jab lock into another uh, sweet spot down here. To boomerang, boomerang into arrow, double arrow, pairing the arrow. There's gyro to kind of stuff out the arrows um, in question. And Goober keeps interrupting to start up these lasers as well. That big fat laser coming in, unfortunately, not doing anything in favor of Dill except for racking up Goober's percentage and, of course, Goober's rage. Love, love the play that Goober just did right there. Just. Uh, baiting out that, that arrow recovery with the onslaught of projectiles on the ledge and catching it. There's that reflector off of the bomb with the side B into the stage, into death. And Goober kind of just comes in in ways that aren't really too predictable. Um, kind of baits out a lot of these options that Joe's kind of is forced into. And you see once more this onslaught of projectiles trying to get dash attack on the ledge at the invincibility frames, but just slightly mistiming it, just a little bit too early on those. Nice job. Dill has to be, be way more patient. You can already see that happening right here. Air dodge back to stage and stuffing out the arrow with the forward air into grab and so mashing out the grab. Triple, I think that was quadruple down tilt. Tech rolling into the uh, laser, avoiding the entirety of that hitbox. What are we seeing right now? We're seeing lift grab into down into into down throw, missing the uh, connecting up air, and we might be seeing another up air from Toon Link if he's able to get no, but he's trying going try to go for the up smash. Excellent parry off. Excellent parry off of the laser. Oh my god, once more, that up air off uh, Rob trying to cover on the ledge is so good for Goober. It hits Rob, like, just... It hits Rob's forehead. Humongous hitbox. This might be game for Dill. Should they make it back to the ledge safely? We have bomb dropping. We have arrows of uh, throwing. We have swords of swinging. We got parrying a parrying. We got bomb a bombing. Missing the Nair, unfortunately. And dropping shoot at the perfect time for it. That dash attack now deals in the air. Try using, I think, try using, uh, nice. I think she tried to use uh, armor in order to reflect back the arrow. This is very doable for Goober. Has to take out this just one, get, really just one hit. One arrow should be taking it. One dash attack, one up air. But Dill is starting to get in her game plan right now at 199%. This is a humongous race for Rob. And if one really good conversion can carry Goober off into the blast zone. There's that down tilt with Gyro. Gyro is being the down tilt uh, conversion that Dill was actually going to continue off of. Goober is trying to play a little more unsafely using a lot more aerials than projectiles and playing a little more close towards Dill, which is not what you want to do. 
you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Oh, you're fine. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Incredible. Gyro set up. Down to into Gyro. Down to Gyro. Shielded. The gyro what? Uh, John is saying that the gyro uh, betrayed Dill. It did because yeah. it, 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 yeah. So it just was just like you know what? We're, we're gonna wait. A it's second. like I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. That's crazy. All right, this is like this is not a kill, but like, look at this. This is throws this bomb. Boom. Neutralize the gyro. <laughs> it's actually kind of sick. Is that why you recorded it? Yes. You're funny. Just vaporized the gyro, please. Oh my god. Alright. Alright, so Goober takes it over Dill. That That's a big upset. If I do say so myself, myself. That's huge. If you yeah. do, if you do say so yourself, yourself. Yeah, yes. I agree. I mean, it's still winners. Yeah, I I know, but that's still that's that's, uh, that's pretty like, crazy. Rooting for Dill or not, like that's a really big win for for, for Goober. Goober. So good that's stuff huge. to Goobs. That's that's huge. That's a that's yeah. a PR win. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. well, actually, or not like really. Dill hasn't been on the PR for like two seasons. Oh really? I thought she was on. The, I thought she was like. No, she she's like. Not good enough right now. Oh. <laughs> Just straight up. 